Okay, Fabric is out. We need to do a better job at managing Fabric because now there's a lot more workloads coming in, a lot more people. It's not just some Power BI like business intelligence stuff, right? Like we gotta like really get this locked down. How are we gonna make sure that we have the proper admins in place over the whole thing? We're gonna do that with an intra ID group. I'm gonna show you how. No, I know it's not just Power BI. It's like, a big thing, right? So it should take some time and energy to put into this, right? All right, before we head over to my uh, desktop and go through this stuff, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do all the YouTube stuff. Subscribe, turn on alarms so you don't miss anything. Hit that like button, leave a comment, tell me how this is helping you. All that stuff really helps me out and I really appreciate it. So I see you when you, you do that stuff. So I really do appreciate it when you do that. All right, let's head over to it. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna head into uh, my, well, to do this configuration, I'm gonna be in the Azure portal. But what are we talking about here? We're talking about intra ID pricing and management. So Entra ID is the new Azure Active Directory. Um, there's the reason it's, a lot of this is a renaming, but there's a reason for the renaming. There's a difference between Active Directory on-prem access and, and that authentication protocol, and what it means to be authenticating someone in a big cloud space. And you know, they want to make sure, you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of confusion there between like when you're using on-prem and when you're using cloud, and because the names are the same, uh, it, it was confusing to people, so they, they they brought it all together. Now, this is a thing that you've got to get licensed and whatnot. There's a bunch of different options here and all sorts of different capabilities that come along with it. Um, straight up, uh, oops, not grab. Straight up, straight up we're, we're going to be talking about uh, the, end, the P1 and the P2 capabilities. Uh, the P2 is going to offer you like almost everything that you need when it comes to security. This is the comprehensive solution. If you're in a financial org or healthcare or anything that's doing a lot in the cloud and you have PII or PHI information, you're gonna need this uh, level of access. Do note it does come with a Microsoft E5 license. So if you're using E5 licensing, like this is gonna get you all taken care of, okay? Um, otherwise it's, it's $9 a month. If you're not using these though, you can do this with a P1. In fact, I'm using a P1 for my home tenant because it's my demo tenant. I don't need anything more than this. So I pay six bucks a month for this. Sorry, hon, um, I'm paying for this because I need this to secure this to show you how this works. So um, another reason to hit like and subscribe, <laughs> help me pay the $6 a month. Um, all right, but how do we create this? Well, first things first, we're gonna go over to enter ID. And I, I need you to pay attention to me as I do this stuff because there's a couple points where if you don't do this on, uh, like right, you're gonna to have to come back and redo it. And that's kind of a pain in the neck. So we're gonna head over to enter ID. Inside of this portal, I can access everything when it comes to like everything to do with my tenants and my capabilities. I'm gonna head over to group, groups. And inside here, I'm gonna create a new group, okay? So the group name I'm gonna give it is gonna be uh, fabric, fabric dash, oops, dash admin dash uh, enterprise ID group. And I always like to include that in the description uh, is for managing an admin of fabric. All right now, here is the first big oh gotcha thing, okay? We need to make sure that we are not, we are clicking this on as yes. If we create this group without this enabled, there is no fixing it. Once a security group has been created and it's set up with without roles, you cannot go back and add it. You have to recreate it, okay? So don't do that. It's a big pain in the neck. Uh, um, so we're gonna click on yes right now, okay? Uh, I, oh, I skipped over this part. We do need to make sure that it's a security group and not an M365 group, okay? There's a difference between a security group and M365 group. M365 only gives you access on the office side of the house, like the like SharePoints of the world and Dynamics of the world and, and 
uh, like team space, right? So you can have groups and whatnot. It's not a security role. Security role will, will span both Azure as well as uh, M everything on the M365, right? So think of it as a superset. M365 just works in one space. Security works across all of them, okay? I'm going to have this set up. I am going to go in, and then I'm going to also make sure that I assign who my owners are. Now, a big pro tip in the ownership side is always make sure you have a primary. Myself is the primary owner, and I'm going to make the luchador. They're going to, he's going to be the secondary, okay? Now, owners will be the ones who determine and approve who can be a member. Owners do not get the same access rights as the members, okay? So if you need the people to have access to whatever you're going to give them this AD group access to, you have to make them part of the members group as well. So in this case, I'm going to make sure that Chris, uh, myself, make sure my data gun, my data gun ID, as well as the luchador, those are the IDs I use when I test stuff. They're all inside this members group. And then here's the big thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we go in and we select a role. Okay. So I'm going to go and select a role. This is the big mat where the magic happens, right? So I type in fabric. All right. I select fabric administrator. I'm going to hit select. And now when I create this, I'm going to get a little warning message here, right? Creating a group to which Microsoft Enter roles can be assigned is a setting that cannot be changed later. Are you sure you want to add this capability? You can click on learn more to learn more. I'm going to say yes. Get this up and running. And boom. I'm going to see that it was successfully created a group. Um, okay. No. Inside of these groups, you cannot add a group in on a group that has roles assigned to it. Right? They don't want to have cascading inheritance inside of Fabric. Uh, so make sure that you, you're you going to have to identify the people that are going to be in there to get access to those roles and have access to those admin capabilities. All right. Hopefully found this useful. I know I, I did, and I, I frankly, I made this because I'm going to be sending you, sending people to this uh, uh, video to like see how do I create an admin group. Uh, hello, clients. <laughs> um, uh, if you did, leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, ho hopefully, I found this useful. Uh, hopefully, this has made sense to you. You can go out and do this. If you're finding that you need more help with this, head over to kratosbi.com and click on Get Me a Data God. There's a button right at the top. Um, and myself or one of my associates will reach out to you and we'll, we'll, we'll hook you up. We'll get you up and running. All right. With that, you have a blessed day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.